I'm Tom with Electro Harmonics, and this is the Big Muff Pi Hardware Plugin. We are bringing the analog warmth of the Big Muff to the digital domain. It acts just like a regular plugin, but your tracks run through the actual analog circuitry of the Big Muff, giving you that distortion and feel that you just can't get from digital processing. It also acts as a true stereo recording interface and as a standalone effects pedal with foot switchable presets. Looking at the controls, we have the classic muff configuration of volume, tone, and sustain. Plus, we've added tone wicker and tone bypass controls for further sonic sculpting possibility. Ten foot switchable presets can be stored on the pedal itself, while unlimited presets can be saved on your computer and transferred seamlessly between the pedal and plugin. Big Muff Hardware Plugin features true stereo ins and outs and connects to your computer via USB. It also has a headphone jack with separate volume control and a control for direct monitoring. The Big Muff hardware plugin works with all the popular DAWs like Pro Tools, Logic Pro, Cubase, Ableton Live, and more, making it possible to run virtually any type of track or instrument through the Big Muff for subtle to epic analog processing. One of my favorite things to do is use it on drums. Here we have our Pro Tools session open, and I have the drum track up top here. Uh, just like any other plugin, you would put the Big Muff on the insert, and voila, there we go, we are live. Knobs turning. Here's what the drums sound like with the Big Muff bypassed. And now with the Big Muff active. And just like that, instant massive crunchy drums. Let's hear it in a mix. Another great way to use the Big Muff hardware plugin on drums is to isolate certain part of the kit, like the snare and the kick drum. This is a great way to fatten up the drum tone without smashing the whole kit with distortion. Here we are in Logic Pro, and I've isolated the kick drum and snare drum by sending them to an auxiliary channel. This is what they sound like together. Okay, now this is what they sound like with the Big Muff engaged. Instant crunch and fatness. Now, if we add some delay and reverb, we get this. Now, if we mix that in with the entire drum kit, we hear this. I've recorded a guitar track going directly into the Big Muff hardware plugin using it as a recording interface. Well, I had the distortion turned off, so I was just sending a DI signal to the computer. Now, I have a clean stock Logic Amp simulator running. It sounds like this. And what I'd actually like to do is save a dark Big Muff tone for the A section of this riff and a bright Big Muff tone for the B section of this riff so I can save them as presets and send them to the unit so I could switch between them live. Here is the Big Muff on and let's flip through some presets to find out if we can get close to what we're looking for. Okay, Pumpkin Dream, exactly what I was looking for. I just wanted to make it a little bit darker by rolling the tone off a little bit. 
So I'm going to save that to recall slot A so I can compare the bright tone that we find now. Okay, perfect. So Rock Factory was pretty close. I rolled up the tone a little bit and added some high frequencies with the wicker. And I'm going to save that to recall slot B. Let's see if we can hear the difference. Another great feature of the Big Muff hardware plugin is the ability to automate any of the parameters in the plugin, and it's also a standalone, fully MIDI controllable effects pedal. Here I have a drum track already set up with some automation, so let's take a look and listen. Okay, so automation works just like in any DAW. You open up your automation view, and you see if you select the Big Muff here, you can control any of these parameters to adjust. And the way I had it set up is everything was kind of going from low to high. That's the sustain, so that was rolling up. The tone, same thing, going from zero to all the way up there. Uh, let's add a little bit more movement. I want to kind of create some peaks and valleys here to give it just a little bit of uh, up and down sort of feeling. Let's take those drums and put them into a musical example. I've added more tracks and more Big Muff. Bass sounds great with the Big Muff. Here it is without it, and then I'll add it. A nice string section is going to play the melody here. I have a violin and cello. Here's what they sound like. And I'm going to blend in some Big Muff. I previously printed these two tracks running through the Big Muff, and I just want to blend it in uh, just to add a little bit of grit. So here's what that sounds like. So we're going to hear the bass kick it off, then the string section comes in, and then we'll hear the drum automation, and that'll take us out. 